uh, joining us today po and to deliver her welcome and inspirational message on behalf of the PSC Board. Pwede po ba nating i-welcome ang ating uh, PSC Commissioner and Oversight Commissioner for Women in Sports, Commissioner Celia Kiram. Kom, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Magandang hapon, Jovas. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. On behalf of the Philippine Sports Commission, kami po ay natutuwa ng papatuloy niyong pag, uh, uh, patuloy niyong pagsunod sa aming or pagsubaybay dito sa aming or pagsali dito sa aming sports summit. Uh, ngayon po ang pag-uusapan natin na topic ay isang magandang topic na nag na po ng magandang resulta sa ating sports community. Kasama po kayo sa ating pagpupugay doon sa ating mga atleta sa Tokyo Olympics na first for more than uh, for more than 90 90 years na yun lang po tayo nakakuha ng ginto at uh, madami pong time medalya. Ito po ay sa effort po na ginagawa natin ngayon na i-intensify natin ang uh, ating sports. Hindi lang po yung uh, sports katulad nung araw na, na hindi scientific, na yung po scientific approach na po ang ating kinagawa. Nag-i-evolve po ang mundo. Ganun din po ang sports. no? Kaya pag hindi tayo makipagsabay, doon sa galaw ng ibang bansa, kung paano nila pinapatupad ang pagsasanay ng kanilang mga atleta sa sports, ay hindi po natin makakamit yung Olympic gold na ating inaasama. Kami po sa PSC Board is so happy na yung aming ginawang mga programa sa Philippine Sports Commission ay naging effective. Lalo na, lalo na po ang papag pag-intensify ng Philippine Sports Institute. Nais po namin na magkaroon ng high-performance athletes. No? Kasi wala po tayo hinahangat, pati itong ating mga atleta, ganun din mga officials and coaches, kundi magkaroon ng podium finish in the local at international competition level. Gusto din po natin na lahat ng data, anal, uh, analytics, service, services na dapat ay nasa maipatupad ipa, ipa natin sa pag-create ng isang high-performing athletes. No? Uh, nais din po namin na magkaroon ng safety sports at safe, safe sports that will be inclusive to all at yung continuing research and innovation, coaches education, athletes career and development including engagement with the community at of course yung sports governance. Ito po ay nasa loob po ng Philippine Sports Institute at uh, hope na we can focus more to have an agile and efficient structures that will enable athletes to access to the latest information and innovation in high performance programs whenever and wherever they need it. So, uh, love ko po, kayo po ay sabik na malamang ko ano ba ito ang Philippine Sports Institute na ang istorya po nung way back 1990 with the uh, time ni Chairman Rico ay nampisan po ito, nahinto po ito at nung bumalik po si Chairman William Ramirez noong 2005. Ayun, na-appoint po, sorry po, na-appoint po si Chairman Ramirez noong 2005. Eh, binuhay niya po ito ulit noong 2016 nung kami po ay umupo ay lalo po namin itong inintensify at ngayon po ang ganda, kagandahan po nito ay ma-institutionalize natin ito ngayon para po kung sino man umupo as chairman 
or as Board of Commissioners sa Philippine Sports Commission ay hindi na po ito maaalis kasi ito po ay isasabat. With that being said, uh, I hope you will uh, have more interest on learning what is Philippine Sports Institute and uh, maipababa po natin lahat ito ng pinag-aralan natin sa inyong mga localities, as sa inyong paaralan at wherever you are. Nang sa ganun po ay maging pare-pareho po ang ating sayaw sa isang tugtog. So yun lang po ang aming gustong mangyari na magkaroon po tayo ng na-level up quality ng sports achievement ng bawat isa from Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Maraming maraming pong salamat at magandang hapon po sa inyo. Maraming salamat po uh, PSC Commissioner Celia Kiram. Ang ganda ng sinabi ni Com na tayo po ay... Uh... I think one of the reasons why we're doing this is ang end point eh, tayo po ay sumayo sa isang tugtog. Tama po yun, Com. Maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, later, makakasama po natin si Com Celia for our uh, latter part of our program. Uh, but as mentioned po, no, today's session is one of the many lectures that we will be having for the first phase of the National Sports Summit. Uh, kanina po sa ating video, no, ito pong sports conversations will be presided over by, by recognized figures from the local to the international sports scene to deliver short lectures in the online conference format. And syempre, afterwards, we have an open forum that will be facilitated to gather your insights and, and, and your mga views as a synthesis for every session. That being said, ang atin pong topic ngayon, as mentioned by Comcel, is very, very interesting. And syempre, it aims to give participants a clearer and more def defined picture of the Philippine Sports Institute. And uh, ang ating pong topic will be touched upon uh, are its legal mandate, ang history, its current role in the PSC, its most significant projects and activities since its grand inaugural in 2017, ang itong mga short-term plans, and its desired end goal. Yan pong ating mga pag-uusapan. And to lead us into that, uh, let me introduce to you ang ating uh, resource speaker for this afternoon. Ating both speaker briefly ventured into media as a trainee in Manila Bulletin before beginning career in government service as a speechwriter under the office of the vice president. She has served PSC under five chairmen, including both terms of our chairman, uh, Chairman William Butch Ramirez. She worked in certain offices under all bureaus of the PSC, uh, starting with the commission proper as writer and later on as an executive assistant, an a AFMS for procurement, records, and back secretariat, CSSS for NSA affairs, and PRDD. And now she's under po, the Philippine Sports Institute. She's been in significant involvement po, with international events, including uh, in the secretariat for the Philippine delegations to the 2005 2007, and 2015 Southeast Asian Games, and as part of the Philippine Organizing and Working Committees for the 2003 Asian Athletic Championships, 2004 FIVB Volleyball Women's Grand Prix, 2013 FIBA Asia Championships, and 2016 FIBA Olympic Qualifying Tournament. She earned Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies degree from Ateneo de Manila University. And she's currently pursuing Master's of Public Administration degree with focus on public policy and program administration at the University of the Philippines National College of Public Administration and Governance. Po ay sa diliman. Uh, it is a pleasure po na makasama uh, ang ating uh, resource speaker for this afternoon. Can we all give a round of applause and let's welcome our guest speaker, Miss Abigail Marie Rivera. Ma'am, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Hello, Joash. Uh, maraming salamat. No? And uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, to PSC Commissioner Celia Kiram, magandang hapon po. To our other officials and my colleagues in Philippine Sports Commission, to our fellow stakeholders in sports, ang dami niyo po. No? Uh, hindi ko kayo may isa-isa. No? I'm looking at the counter right now of the participants. And wow, ang dami pala. Um, and that to everyone, uh, our friends in sports uh, to our, who are here to uh, listen to um, 
the, 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 no, no, to what I have to say about ESI or the Philippine Sports Institute. Uh, before anything else, no, um, counting disclaimer lang. Um, actually, uh, I'm more of a writer. Uh, I'm not much of a resource speaker. I've only spoken once uh, uh, in front of an audience um, two years ago in Tayabas. But this is the first time that I am actually speaking you know, in front of a virtual audience na ito kalaki, uh, for a national event. So no, I ask for your indulgence no, and understanding this early. But at the same time, I also promise to try my best uh, to make this presentation so, no, no, short but sweet and informative. So I'll start um, uh, with a little introduction regarding a PSI, um, which of course, uh, as we all know now, no, uh, is, uh, has been an operation, a uh, successive operation for the past seven, seven, mga four or five years now. It is a special program currently no, under the office of the chairman of the PSC, and it currently operates in alignment with the PSC's desire to strengthen and expand sports awareness and participation. Uh, through various projects and activities for grassroots, uh, grassroots sports, for sports education, for high performance sports and research and development no, of sports science and sports medicine here in the country. The PSI has three simple objectives that um, we have been trying to achieve no, these past years. First is to establish and help implement a grassroots sports development program that will encourage participation and involvement no, among all sectors, among all strata, no, social status and levels here um, of our population here in the Philippines. Second is to establish and implement a sports education program that targets main edu no, education and institutions to be more involved no, uh, in the development of, um, of uh, talents um, that uh, are promising and, and can represent our country you know, in future international competitions. And third is also to establish and implement a high performance sports program that will benefit our elite athletes and encourage them and help them to be better performers and to uh, attain the success, um, success in the international sporting arena um, for our country. Okay, next. Um, wait, masyado naging advancing slide. Can we go back first to the legal mandate? Ayon, okay. Thank you. Okay, the PSC, uh, the, the PSI rather, uh, asserts its legality to function through certain provisions in the following national laws. I intentionally did not include the details in the slide. I will dictate it instead, no, para uh, para mapakinggan na mabuti. Under Republic Act 6847, uh, we are guided by Section 6 um, A and Section 6 B, namely to provide the leadership and uh, formulate the policies and set priorities and direction of all national amateur sports promotion and development, particularly giving emphasis on grassroots participation, and to encourage wide participation of all sectors, government and private in amateur sports promotion and development. Also under Republic Act 11214, which has established the Philippine Sports Training Center under sections 4A, 4B, 4C, and 4E as follows to serve as the official home and primary venue for the development of athletes in the national team and its corresponding training pools. Included in the list of sports contemplated therein through the use of scientific principles and programs, proven training techniques, and modern equipment and facilities that are at par with international standards, to contribute to sports science and research as the National Sports Training Institute assisted by the Philippine Sports Commission through the Philippine Sports Institute as mandated by Republic Act 6847 to serve as venue for the training of coaches and referees and for any purpose inherent and incidental for the purposes for which the PSTC was created. Next slide, please. Okay, um, I will touch a bit about the you know, history you know, of uh, PSI, uh, which as we all know has um, been uh, beleaguered by uh, interruptions you know, uh, through uh, certain periods, but uh, uh, it manages to uh, no, no, to, to always reemerge and uh, continue. So again, as mentioned po by uh, by uh, Com Commissioner Kiram earlier, no, uh, the Philippine National Institute of Sports, as it was first called, no, it was established in 1996. 
Uh, interestingly, um, the establishment of a, of a sports institute was the first resolution that emanated from the Philippine Sports Summit of 1992, which again is the springboard of our current National Sports Summit, uh, the one that we are in now, and uh, no, and um, the creation of this, no, of, of the PSI emanated from that summit and uh, also was uh, strengthened by uh, uh, instructions by then President Fidel Ramos. No? As we all know, Fidel Ramos is a, is a sportsman. Uh, at this age right now, he's still no, 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 he's still very healthy. Although I'm not, I haven't seen him in the news recently, no, for, for anything regarding the sports. I guess because he's uh, a senior citizen and you know he can't really go out. But um, during his presidency, um, he was a very very ardent supporter of sports, and uh, he supported the PSC in particular. You know, dito sa pag uh, established ng uh, National Institute of Sports that time. Um, the, the Philippine National Institute of Sports was envisioned no, as a sports flagship pro project um, uh, with the uh, bias towards pro poor or pro, ru uh, no, pro rural involvement no, uh, to promote uh, to promote and sustain human resource development and capability building within the sports community. Um, this means that to be able to um, to establish no, uh, a, a, a formidable base for grassroots sports, we always have to start with the no, no, with the with the community level talaga, community barangay, um, with a special focus on areas that are not as um, not as wealthy or, or not as um, not as uh, progressive, no, as as uh, my, uh, no, other areas, and um, uh, of course, no, uh, another fact that um, I know, no, I'd like to underscore is that. Uh, there is actually, you know, UP Cebu actually, uh, which is our current satellite office in the Visayas. It was actually launched in 1997 as a satellite office of the Philippine National Institute of Sports. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, I will touch lang also no, uh, on the main project. The, this was the very first project of the Philippine National Institute of Sports in the uh, yeah, um, when it was established, no, it, uh, they were, it was called Project 1616 or 1616. Um, uh, this signified um, training in 16 sports, no, 16 chosen sports that time, of representatives from the poorest areas among 16 regions under the national government social reform agenda. Uh, again, that was during the time of President Ramos. And uh, the main beneficiaries of this project were trainers, teachers, coaches, and uh, sports scientists. No? Um, who were who were who underwent no, this project no, uh, with the hopes of uh, contributing and um, uh, increasing their knowledge no, to, uh, no, to contribute towards national development of coaching here in the country. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, again, as uh, Commissioner Kira mentioned earlier, after the administration of uh, PSC Chairman Wiko, the PSI. The Philippine uh, National Institute of Sports um, was not uh, activated. It uh, became dormant until uh, in 2005 when um, Chairman uh, Ramirez assumed, assumed uh, uh, his first term as, uh, as head of the Philippine Sports Commission. Um, it was revived this time as the Philippine Sports Institute in 2005. And uh, from my recollection that time, no, I wasn't in PSI at that time. Uh, I remember um, the the programs that time no under the PSI were two. There were two programs. Um, one was the grassroots coaches advancement program, and uh, the other was the elite coaches advancement program. No, these were both uh, courses also no courses on uh, sports science, sports medicine, and uh, sports education. Um, but you know, nagkaroon uh, ng counting division. Um, one part was for uh, grassroots uh, coaches no, in the LGU level, and the other was for uh, coaches that were already part of the national training pool that time. Next slide, please. Okay. So again, after the first term of Chairman Ramirez, uh, the PSI was uh, sidelined. Uh, then when he returned, when Chairman Ramirez returned uh, in uh, 2016, uh, with our current board of commissioners, um, it was decided upon 
and during and we had a consultation meeting on this i remember uh in around october or november 2016 there was a, a national consultative meeting regarding the uh, re-establishment of the philippine sports institute and the output of that national consultative meeting was the grand inaugural or the formal relaunch of the PSI on January 2017. Um, the main focus areas of uh, PSI as envisioned when it returned no, uh, were the following. No? Um, emphasis on regional or LGU coordination, coordination with other sports organizations and government agencies, the Sports for Peace program, um, which I will uh, deal on, uh, which I will tackle on in, uh, in a while. Uh, continuing professional development for sports administrators, managers, and coaches. Next slide, please. Yeah, uh, those were certain you know, photos lang, you know, uh, to represent lang yung uh, grand inaugural ng 2017. The guest of honor that time representing uh, President Rodrigo Duterte was then Cabinet Secretary June Vasco. And here, the, the second photo, he's there with our board, uh, receiving a uh, certain uh, a plaque of appreciation no, for the support that Malacanang uh, rendered during the relaunch of PSI. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, current status and role with, with, uh, within PSC. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we are currently a special program under the office of the chairman. Our head is um, National Training Director Mark Edward Velasco, who is also the Senior Executive Assistant to the Chairman. Um, aside from uh, Sir Mark, uh, there is a Deputy National Training Director in the person of Sir Marlon Malbog, and then after him is me. Um, I'm currently holding the position of Grassroots uh, uh, Program Head, but at the same time, I'm also managing the sports education aspect of PSI. And um, since last year, and uh, I have to work on this also, no, admittedly, ano, kailangan patutuhan to. Um, the sports library, the Philippine sports library was turned over to PSI also. So we are working on that uh, for it to be uh, more operational, uh, especially once the uh, general quarantine is lifted para magkaroon ng access po, more access um, by uh, our, uh, no, no, by clients and our, our stakeholders and of course um, our athletes and coaches and fellow employees who would like to do research no, on sports. We also have right now um, to help us in networking and, and promoting our programs nationwide. No? We have regional um, cluster heads and coordinators um, who are volunteered to help us uh, spread the word about PSI and uh, to uh, help us um, uh, establish linkages with more LGUs. And our current offices naman, um, under PSI right now, the functioning ones are medical and scientific athlete services, which I will also um, discuss a bit later. Grassroots program as mentioned, sports education and training and sports library. Next slide, please. Yeah, that is our current uh, organizational chart. Um, trivia. <laughs> Um, out of all those, um, MSAS, of course, has its own tantilia, no? but for grassroots program, sports education and training, and Philippine Sports Library, uh, lima lang ho kami nagpapatakbo niyan ngayon. And, um, meron na, ano, no, and, uh, later on, near the end of my talk, I will, ano, no, I, I have, uh, I will say something about that also, no, yung sa manpower namin. Yeah, with regional coordination, um, those are our ano, ano, PSI coordinators um, for Northern Luzon, South Luzon, Bicol, Visayas, Mindanao, and NCR. Those are the seven uh, main clusters that we have. And uh, the heads of those are, are the ones ano, who are the, our first, ano, the first uh, piece of PSI no, na nakakaharap ng mga LGUs. For North Luzon, we have uh, Mr. Edwin Llanes and um, uh, Ms. Finella Sim. For South Luzon, we have Ms. Joanne Limon. For Bicol, we have uh, Mr. James Nunez. For Visayas, we have Mr. Noni Lopez. For Mindanao, uh, Mr. Cholo Eligino. And for NCR, um, Sir Chito Gonzalez. Next slide, please. Okay. Highlights of PSC projects and activities. Um, marami na kami actually naging activities no, since 2017, but I will focus on, uh, on key activities that uh, for me 
uh, really defined po yung essence po ng PSI through these years. No? Um, namely, no, uh, I will enumerate lang muna. Um, there are, of course, our LGU consultative meetings, and there's children's games, sports for peace. There was also Smart ID or Sports Mapping Action Research Talent for uh, Research for Talent ID identification. Of course, our Medical and Scientific Athlete Services. We had um, a lecture series by the Korean Institute of Sports Science uh, in 2017 and 2018. Our current um, active um, project, which is the National Sports Coaching Certification course and other online courses that we are starting to explore. Next slide, please. Okay. I will first touch on LGU consultative meetings, which I think are the first, is the, no, the first, the very important step in um, building a grassroots, you know, in the, building the grassroots sports program that we have. You know. um, for me, these meetings are very vital in the formation of local and regional sports programs in the country. Um, we started conducting these LGU consultative meetings after the sports caravan, the, the national sports caravan, which was conducted by PSC in um, 2017, if, if I remember correctly, early 2017. No? Um, these uh, LGU consultative meetings are, are, are an offshoot no, of that uh, sports caravan to be able to really reach out and uh, uh, go visit each LGU po that the uh, uh, expressed interest to avail of this consultative meeting. Um, these meetings were conducted by PSC and uh, PSA representatives for LGU heads, uh, sports coordinators, and other sports practitioners with the expected output of concrete and sustainable local sports development plans. The, objective of these, the objectives of these meetings uh, were to provide opportunities for LGUs to align the respective sports development plans with the PSC's very own five-year sports development plan for 2017 to 2022, to identify each LGU's respective priority sports, to assist in the planning and formation of LGU sports development programs, to assist LGUs in creating and uh, strengthening their respective short, medium, and long-term sports programs, and to reinforce the linkages between the PSC and LGUs, which is, I think, very, very, very important. Uh, for us to continue um, uh, implementing you know, uh, and uh, sustaining uh, grassroots sports programs. Next slide, please. Okay. Black on slide na yan because um, I don't know how to embed videos. Medyo hindi ako masyadong techy when it comes to that. But before we show two videos to demonstrate po how this event, this activity is conducted, no, I'd like to um, say a bit, no, to say a, a bit uh, about the children's games, which is under the Sports for Peace initiative of Chairman Ramirez. Um, the children's games for us is the heart of this, uh, of our grassroots program because mainly it focuses on children and introduces them to the concept of organized play and uh, organized play. In line with the UNESCO Declaration of the Right of the Child to Play, um, the Children's Games aims to help in the development of children's social, interpersonal, and intrapersonal uh, skills through their direct interaction and actual play, regardless of their race, regardless of religion, regardless of economic status, and indigenous affiliation. It is the only PSC project so far that is endorsed by both the UNESCO and the Right to Play movement. The game's objectives are to introduce the concepts of play and games to children ages 8 to 12 years old, to provide a fun-filled and non-competitive atmosphere of play, and to uh, no, encourage children to assert their right to play. So we have two videos to show um, to see um, how the children's games are conducted. Um, one of the videos uh, is from the launch of children's games in Davao on uh, May 2017. And the second video naman will be uh, the conduct of children's games in the coastal setting naman. That's the coastal children's games um, uh, care of uh, uh, PSC Visayas, um, which is uh, currently under the uh, oversight uh, of uh, Commissioner uh, Ramon Fernandez. So um, let's watch the videos para we can see. On May 23, 2017, war erupted in Mindanao. The Philippines' war on terror worsened when ISIS encouraged terror groups in the country. 
ISIS inspired Maute and Abu Sayyaf groups in the city of Marawi. On that same day, just a few kilometers away, a movement for peace began. A sports program, nearly sa dulang la sa basketball, sa volleyball, sa boxing. Kanang dula nearly sa sports program. Po sa mga kung kasi nandito, a sports program, kusang sa aktibidad na magkita ng mga bata, mga historia, mga dula dula. Maraming oportunidad na ibigay sa akin. So, makikita nyo ang sarili nyo um, gamit-gamit ang uh, pinipit gamit dahil pumasok kayo sa sports. Sa sports, magbabago ang buhay nyo. The Children's Games was an initiative by the Philippine Sports Commission under the leadership of Chairman Butch Ramirez. It was envisioned to be a tool for peacekeeping in areas of conflict in the country. A simple project that would strengthen goodwill and promote the development of children through sports. Now, after serving more than 10,000 children in over 600 barangays, the children's games have become so much more. I was really very happy when I saw children playing uh, because it can be a picture of early peace making cited by the unesco as a model project that preceded its own global sports policy development plan the children's games has become the centerpiece program of the psc fulfilling its mandate to establish a genuine sports development program in the country one that engages the whole community regardless of religion tribe or political color if you have children playing together as early as, as 5, 6, 7, up to 10, then you're expecting that uh, the, the social activities of children will be very, very positive. From the first games in Davao to the ones in Benguet and Baguio, even in the war-ravaged city of Iligan, all the way to Toril, Bontok, Karkar, Lawag, Naga, and Talisay. The Children's Games has brought hope and happiness, instilling values, reintroducing traditions, and strengthening bonds. According to PSC Chairman Ramirez, the Children's Games has become an anthem of hope. Though it might look simple to others, it is the simplicity that makes it attractive and effective. I would look at it as the beginning of the beginning of sports development and and improve the quality of life of these young people to grow to become better citizens. There are still many places to go and many, many more games to play. It is not an easy job, but we at the PSC commit to continue to reach more, to go further. Because we recognize the importance of play and movement in the child's life. These should not be a privilege. They are a child's right. And if we touch one life among the many we meet along the way, then our work would be all worth it. Because when the children play, peace wins.
thank you, thank you, PCO, uh, for showing those videos. No? Uh, seeing those videos, I think, uh, are evoking uh, certain emotions you know, you know, within us, no? especially since we're at this time of the pandemic, you know, where kids cannot go out really to play. Um, there was a temporary um, respite, no? at least here in NCR, na pinayagan yung mga bata to, you know, to go out in public spaces such as parks, uh, to walk, or to run, or to play. No? But uh, since we're going on MC, ano, ECQ na naman on Friday, uh, that was suspended. And um, honestly, you know, sa, I mean, sa PSI, um, the Children's Games is one of the uh, activities that we, we really want to reactivate no? um, once uh, we have uh, managed this pandemic, um, once herd immunity is established. And it would be safe for kids uh, to, to go out again to play and at the same time safe for us adults uh, to also handle um, handle these activities outside. So, okay, let me perk up again the mood. Medyo na ano tayo doon. Medyo na senti tayo. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, okay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, no, uh, this is Smart ID. Um, this is a talent identification um, act, you know, project. Um, initiated mainly by uh, our MSAS group. Um, this is actually an offshoot of the uh, NS, uh, NSTIP, which was done in 2000. Uh, this is a, uh, this is to continue that. Um, yung dun sa PS, PS tip pala, I'm sorry, PS tip. No? That was a Philippine Sports Talent Identification Program that, um, that was in 2000. Um, natigil din yon, uh, so binuhay ulit ng PSI um, no, starting no 2017. Um, the Smart ID no, aims to build a database of potential national training pool athletes based on data gathered from um, anthropometric and performance testing of participants, no, of, uh, of kids. Um, from various activities such as Palarong Pambansa and Batang Pinoy, which, which um, MSAS was able to do uh, in uh, 2018 and 2019. Um, tapos in turn, you know, the, these data will be an analyzed um, to um, to be collated and, and to establish norms, no? uh, norms for uh, uh, talents, no, for sport here in the Philippines. Um, we have actually na umpisahan na to nung around 2018. We had the training of trainers already um, for Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao areas. However, um, due to the pandemic, nga, there was supposed to be a follow through, but because of COVID, na tigil din. And um, with you know what we have recently um, witnessed in Tokyo, um, with the uh, with the gold medal that we finally won, no, uh, I think this is important. Na kailangan uh, matuloy ulit tong smart ID na to. And because um, the data that was gathered from the previous years, no, kahit na few years ago lang yon, I don't think. Ano, they have to be changed. No, kailangan na ng bago data. So again, hopefully when things settle down and uh, hindi na public health emergency, national emergency on COVID, we can resume this. Next slide, please. Okay, MSAS. Um, I will pay tribute to MSAS during this talk because um, they um, played a very big role. Um, for Team Philippines no, this year uh, in the Olympics in Tokyo. Um, there are seven main units no, under MSAS. Um, one is sports medicine, which of course has our doctors and nurses. The uh, current um, director no, uh, of the, med uh, the sports medicine unit is Dr. Uh, Randy Molo. Uh, and I, I believe he's in Tokyo right now uh, with the delegation no? um, overse you know, overseeing yung needs nila, yung medical needs sala. Another is sports rehab, uh, our sports rehabilitation unit, which is of course um, uh, comprised of our our uh, no, no, our physical therapists and our uh, sports masseurs and masseuses. Um, sports psychology uh, unit, uh, very, very important as proven during the recent uh, this Olympics, uh, ongoing Olympics. Uh, the current head of the sports psychology unit, Dr. Karen uh, Trinidad, uh, is a member of Team uh, HD. Uh, which uh, helped uh, Heidi Lynn Diaz and, uh, win our first school uh, in the Summer Olympics. Of course, there's strength and conditioning. Um, sila yung mga 
uh, they're the ones who uh, check on the athletes whenever they do their their uh, exercise drills you know, or conditioning sa sa p uh, sa gyms natin no in uh, result uh, RMSC and Phil Sports and uh, sports massage yeah uh, katuwang yan ng uh, ng sports rehab again because usually after the rehab nila with the therapist um, also to help them on the cool down after yung mga events nila our sports massage unit is always there um, uh, to help them uh, to help them settle down you know, and relax after the uh, after competition of course we have a sports uh, an physiology unit um, sila yung uh, they're the ones actually na talagang nakatutok doon sa smart ideas as i mentioned earlier and the uh, sports nutrition it's very important also um, we uh, the PSC had established a canteen no? an, uh, an athletes canteen um, there are two canteens in a Rizal Memorial uh, Sports Complex and at Phil Sports. I, I've gone to the Phil Sports canteen. It's, it's very, very functional. And um, there, you know, the karaan ng uh, catering services um, and the menus and the food offered there are talagang according uh, upon the advice of our sports nutrition unit. Um, of course, now, due to the pandemic, uh, most of our athletes all actually all no walang nakabilet ngayon sa sa Rizal Memorial and sa Phil Sports but um, as you see on the right uh, portion of the slide no uh, as soon as the pandemic uh, was declared here in the Philippines so the AMSAS had the uh, took the initiative uh, to continue their services uh, to the to our national athletes online online no um, it was the only way at that point, since everyone was sent home to the provinces, uh, to sila na continue to do their conditioning and their drills and their exercises, um, to you know to keep them you know to keep you know, to keep themselves in shape habang hindi pa pwedeng mag-train um, with their teams. No? So every ano yan, it was very regular. Um, um, yeah, it's sports site. Every weekend they would um, they would. Uh, be in Zoom with a team from a one sport, uh, basically to, to check on them, to check on their mental health, you know, well-being, if they had any concerns na kailangan, you know, that they had to release, you know, they, they had to voice out, no? uh, lalo na sa atin, marami sa ating mentally and uh, emotionally affected by the pandemic you know, for various reasons. And of course, sports nutrition, nagkaroon pa rin yan kahit na we're under the pandemic right now. Um, they always check on the athletes also kung ano kinakain nila. Medyo hindi sila masyado nababantayan eh kasi uh, wala nga sa, sa, sa barak, sa dorm. So very judicious also yung uh, efforts and sports nutrition unit to check on them. And of course, sports rehab and massage. I know this is also a very uh, cha challenging time for them no? since they could not, um, the athletes uh, were unable to really access their services directly. So, ang naging, um, ang naging strategy ng uh, sports rehab unit natin and sports massage unit was to actually, you know, give online, uh, online, ano, online instruction. So, they were being taught online on, uh, kunyari, if they had like cramps or yung muscle nila, masyadong matigas, um, they would go online to teach, you know, to teach the athletes and coaches on, on how to, to, you know, to take care of them, to address, you know, it's first aid and all that. So it has been a very challenging uh, time for MSAS, um, lalo na sila frontliners yan, uh, so mga atleta natin. And um, it is actually some sort of a miracle, it, you, you can say it was a miracle, na despite the pandemic, um, they were still able to deliver their services and uh, naging, ang naging resulta is what's happening now in Tokyo. The miracle of Tokyo, as I like to say. Good. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, the PSC uh, had a partnership no, with the Korean Institute of Sports Science. Uh, in 2017 and 2018, uh, KISS, um, that's the acronym for, uh, no, for Korea Institute of Sports Science, um, they conducted actually, I don't know, uh, sports lectures here, sports science lectures uh, here in uh, mainly in field sports um, in uh, coordination with UNESCO. And um, these lectures, these were four, uh, no, no, these were uh, four days of lectures to it, spread out, uh, spread throughout 2017 and 2018. 
um, the attendees here for these lectures were mostly our elite coaches, uh, the coaches in the national team, uh, also um, our coordinators, um, yung mga sa PSI, kasi um, it was about, uh, ayun, tama, MSAS and Phil Sports, uh, there, uh, MSAS, uh, MSAS and PSI. Uh, there were also uh, attendees in these uh, science lecture series, no? Kasi the, ano, the uh, very heavy ang focus ng mga lectures na to, uh, particularly on sports physiology and uh, sports conditioning. So the coaches that time uh, were able to get uh, first-hand uh, first learning and instructions from very, very qualified instructors. So, uh, from uh, KISS, uh, mainly yung mga, ano nila, yung mga head, yung mga department heads ng KISS um, who have been trained overseas uh, in their respective fields. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, I will now touch on our current, uh, not the pet project, but it's, it's the project that, um, it's the project that is ongoing right now, uh, despite uh, COVID-19. The National Sports uh, Coaching Certification course, or NSCC, no, uh, it offers, uh, there are two components. One is the sports science lectures, and the other is the sports uh, specific uh, training, which is a practical component uh, to complete a level of the course. No? And uh, this was being offered to our grassroots and uh, LGU-based coaches. Now, nagkaroon na ito ng, there were already actually pilot testing for this. Um, we conducted... Um, the NSCC was initially conducted uh, for pilot testing in Tagum, in, Ta in, in Davao, and uh, two times in Davao. Eh. Two times in uh, Davao, Tagum, and the Gaspi, the Gaspi City in Albay. Um, we were supposed to conduct uh, to conduct this. Uh, I don't know in other places na. Uh, starting 2020, but uh, we all know what happened. So we had to recalibrate, and uh, by July 2019, I don't know, um, uh, Visayas, uh, PSC Visayas, ang naging una naming uh, katuwang dito, we were able to launch the online uh, version of uh, the online conduct of the NSCCC. Uh, we offered it initially to Visayas regions before we expanded to Luzon and uh, Mindanao. Uh, as of date, we have served all regions uh, through the online conduct of this course. Um, we're very, very happy about that. Na at least um, we have already completed the level one um, component for sports science lectures. Um, the sports science modules pala are uh, taught by, uh, by experts in the field, uh, mostly from, of course, from MSAS. Uh, our MSAS and uh, our PSC consultants, um, like uh, Professor Henry Dawood, uh, he has um, he has uh, and he's giving you know, the, uh, lectures on uh, sports pedagogy and uh, sports philosophy, and uh, the sports specific training. Meanwhile, which we are waiting to conduct by September, yes, by next month, um, will be conducted naman by national coaches. Um, uh, from uh, NSAs, uh, no, as uh, nominated by uh, the NSAs of the sports that will be featured for sports uh, uh, specific uh, training. Uh, as you see in the slide, no, um, that is proof <laughs> that we have done it online. Um, per session since July, we have conducted um, three sessions per month. Um, one for Luzon, one for Visayas, one for Mindanao. Um, as of date, I think we have since I don't know since June. I think we have serviced around more than a, a thousand already, a thousand uh, coaches uh, from the grassroots level and, and the LGU level. And uh, though I don't know, among those coaches, uh, those coaches, the ones who pass the uh, exams for the sports science lectures will be. I don't know, will be also taking the, uh, the sports specific training component. So this is going to be ladderized. There are three levels to complete. And um, one of the aims actually namin sa NSCC um, is to, you know, uh, is to give credentials uh, for coaches 
uh, especially those uh, representing their LGUs in uh, future uh, NPSC activities such as Batam Pinoy and uh, PNG. And um, hopefully when we are able to expand uh, upon the uh, upper, uh, upon the upper uh, once the uh, PSTC or the Philippine Sports Training Center is operationalized, um, we can tap also no, um, the alumni ikanga, of the NSCC to help us uh, in conducting uh, more uh, in conducting courses, similar courses uh, in the future. No? Um, the objectives of the NSCC are to establish training and learning opportunities in sports coaching, uh, to enhance competencies of our sports coaches and physical educators, to help increase the number of qualified sports coaches and physical educators, and implement quality and relevant grassroots coaching standards here in the Philippines. Next slide, please. Ayan. Other online courses. Okay. Um, recently, uh, actually yesterday lang, kakatapos lang ng um, written exam for the Sports Law for All online certificate course. So that was, uh, that was of course, conducted uh, during all Tuesdays of July. Um, our resource speaker was attorney uh, Al, Al Agra, who is also the president of uh, the uh, obstacle course uh, uh, NSA here in the Philippines. Um, there were eight modules. Um, kaya naging two. Kaya naging four Tuesdays yan. There were two modules per per Tuesday, and um, the exam was uh, conducted yesterday uh, via online. Now um, we are thinking, ano, pinag-uusapan to have a second batch uh, for the sports law for all since uh, marami nag-signify na interest for this, and um, we are also looking at um, offshoot courses um, for other topics, some of which will be based uh, from our summit, no? this, this sports, conversation, sports conversations that we're doing. So um, we're currently planning them. We're currently reviewing the feasibility of uh, the topics that will be featured as future online courses. So abangan niyo na lang po yung announcement for that. Uh, we will announce it on social media soon. Next slide, please. Okay, plans and goals for 2022 and beyond. Um, we all know next year is going to be a very critical period. Um, we have elections next year. And uh, the result of that, of course, will partly determine no, uh, how, how we will progress no, with regards to our sports programs next year. Although I'm personally praying that um, the next administration or whoever will be uh, part of the PSC board uh, come 2022 will prioritize and uh, no, no, and uh, bad, and, and bad for PSI to continue. Uh, since, of course, you know, since um, we really need a sports institute no, to, 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 to set the direction no? uh, and, and, to, and to help and to help uh, to help further strengthen no? yung mga, uh, yung programs natin, uh, not only in grassroots, but also for high performance sports. So these are the short term plans that um, sana matupad. We're working on it. Sana matupad. Um, first, of course, um, I know this is being worked on now. No? Um, I mentioned earlier Republic Act 11214, which is the establishment of the Philippine Sports Training Center. Uh, the PSI is uh, will be part of that. And um, we're waiting, you know, we hope that uh, it will be operationalized as soon as possible and that uh, we will also be able to acquire permanent technical personnel. Like as I mentioned earlier, a konti lang kami ngayon sa PSI and um, for us to be able to expand our programs, uh, our projects, we will also need more uh, technical personnel on board. Next, of course, is the improvement of the Philippine Sports Library. Um, we currently have about 1,000 plus uh, titles. Um, the library is currently at the fourth floor of the Phil Sports uh, Building A in Pasig, but um, we're not open to the public right now due to COVID. And uh, we are currently reviewing also in selections of, uh, of books that have been turned over to us because some, may, may, no, no, some are possibly outdated already and we'll need to replace them. Okay, third is the hybrid mode of course, course conduct and project implementation. Um, because it's like this. No? In particular for NSCC, see, um, 
very critical yung level three um, that we are going to implement next year. Um, that is um, because the sports specific training component in particular uh, for level three, it is going to be like a practicum course already. So we, the, the desired understand the desired setup for that would be to conduct it on site. But then again, it depends on the situation regarding COVID no? uh, in the area and in the area that we plan to conduct it in. So we will still be continuing with online um, courses. Um, whatever can be conducted online, we will conduct it online. And for on-site project implementation, hopefully when things are settled, we can continue with children's games and uh, also LGU consultative meetings that would be very important, lalo na pag-upo ng mga bagong liderato sa mga LGUs. Some LGUs may have a change of leadership, so magiging bago na naman ang, ang direction or ang plano nila for sports no, and youth development. So we will continue with that also with the LGU consultative meetings. Increased coordination with local and international uh, higher education and other institutions for development of and slash or access to graduate and post baccalaureate degrees and courses. Okay, this is another thing that uh, we are working on. Um, the PSC recently forged a memorandum of agreement with the Commission on Higher Education. Um, one of the initiatives in the uh, MO and the MOA. Um, that uh, was forged between the PSC and the CHED would be this, no, yung mga mismo development of these courses. Um, for now, with CHED, we are we have discussed yung tertiary uh, sports development program framework. Uh, it is currently in the in the draft uh, stages. We are still waiting for word on when the uh, public consultations will be. Um, but uh, definitely, we are uh, discussing with CHED yung mga uh, pwedeng maging improvement sa curriculum sa sports management and the sports science courses um, that will be offered to ano, more higher educational institutions. Kasi konti lang uh, dito sa Pilipinas ang uh, merong mga ano, no, degree courses on sports, um, mostly pa in Metro Manila. So hopefully magkaroon din ng expansion sa, ano, sa areas outside Metro Manila yung mga ganitong course. Again, as I mentioned, uh, reg regular review and monitoring of LGU sports development plans. Again, key na naman dito yung uh, consultative meetings next year um, with the change of administration. And uh, we have to follow up with the LGUs that have uh, availed of this no? from 2017 to 2018. Uh, we have to check on them again. Actually, our, our coordinators naman are in touch with them. And... Um, we're very sure next year this will be very active, this uh, particular aspect. And ito, lastly, increased and sustained partnerships for community level and school-based sports. Um, I mentioned already um, yung tie up with CHED. Uh, with CHED. Um, in, 20, in 2006, when the, no, 1996 pala, excuse me, when the PNIS was first established, one of the instructions of uh, President Ramos at the time was for the PSC and the DALG to work hand in hand um, to uh, realize the institute. And um, we are continuing that right now with the LGUs. But uh, of course, uh, we'd also like uh, stronger relationships with DILG. And with that end, with regards to school-based sports, um, the PSC and, uh, and uh, DepEd, uh, the recent collaboration or involvement of, for a common endeavor was the national uh, Academy of Sports, which is now uh, being operationalized. Um, we hope that uh, magkaroon pa ng stronger, ng stronger links with DepEd also regarding this. Kasi ako personally, no, I, I recognize that the, I recognize that the, uh, the main base of talent really starts with the communities and the schools. So that is um, very vital for PSE. Uh, to you know, for, to help also our NSAs to sustain their respective development pools uh, for their uh, no, for the national team. Next slide, please. Okay, yeah, I will quote um, my boss um, to close this. Uh, no, no, to close this uh, lecture. Um, to quote uh, Sir Mark. Um, he mentioned this during an interview with the uh, PSC, uh, no, PCO for our news magazine sometime in 2018, I think, or late 2017. 
uh, to quote, no? our ultimate goal is to have a sustainable grassroots program to fuel our elite program. This will be the biggest purpose that the PSI will serve. Um, the PSI is always, no, 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 we're always on hand. Um, we can help with not only, you know, suggesting for policies or for further studies that um, re regarding, I know, uh, improvements for sports programs, but also mainly the, the implementation and the coordination, no? the national coordination. Um, hindi mangyayari yung mga natatamasa nating tagumpay sa sports if not for the grassroots level. Uh, Sight ano na no? simple example lang. Si, uh, si Heidelin, our gold medalist. Um, Heidelin is a product of the PSC's Batang Pinoy. National Championships. Uh, she was discovered there uh, by uh, by her LGU and uh, her LGU, Sambuanga. Um, they uh, they uh, they helped her. They they assisted her and uh, and uh, they brought her to the Philippine Weightlifting Association, which in turn is the NSA for weightlifting. And they they started from there. Um, Heidelin. It took four Olympic cycles for Heidelin to get the gold. Um, she first competed in Beijing in uh, 2008. She was very young then. I think she was about 17 or 18. Bata, basta bata si Heidelin that time. And um, it took her four Olympics to get the gold. Um, hindi biro yung na, na daanan niya, no? Um, from the grassroots level, it, it, took, ano, it took many years for her to, to um, be developed. Uh, under the national training pool, and um, I think you know, uh, very important yung sa grassroots because it could um, the grassroots program should be able to um, set a direction for everyone involved in sports to you know to progress higher and uh, to to create more programs uh, to to create uh, to create a more ano, to, to create a sound and very, very stable uh, high sport and uh, high performance sports program. So I think for that, uh, magawa lang namin yung, uh, uh, yung dapat namin magawa. Uh, I think uh, we're very happy with that already. Ayun, tama. So, 17 lang si Yerdaling. Thank you, Mabel. Uh, she was only 17 when she started no, with, the, with her first Olympics. And she's just 13 now. So talagang ano, um, it's, a, it's a very long period of investment for everyone involved uh, for her to get the gold. Hindi, hindi talaga ano yan. Hindi, hindi petics. Hindi petics yan. It's not an instant uh, result. And um, the grassroots program, for me, should be able to be the foundation for that. Na it will be a solid foundation for athletes to, to start uh, with their athletic careers. Next slide, please. Okay. Okay, ito na. Last, ano, last pitch na to. Um, for any, ano, no, if you are interested, for anyone interested um, for our programs or to collaborate with us on their own programs, you may write us, uh, you may send a mail to us or if I, by courier, uh, please address uh, your request to uh, Mr. Mark Edward B. Velasco, our National Training Director. There's our address at the Building A of PSC Phil Sports Complex. We are at Meralto Avenue in Pasig. And the next slide has our email and yeah. our chunk line. There's our chunk line number, uh, area code 2 um, Our email, we have two emails, uh, two email addresses to help us, uh, to help us manage the uh, influx of communications coming in with us. So. Uh, for grassroots sports and library concerns, you may please write us at psi at psc.gov.ph. And then for sports education and training, meaning uh, that's for the NSCCC and the other online courses or sports lectures, you may write us naman at psc.psi.sportsed.gmail.com. And of course, that's our website, uh, psc.gov.ph. Um, there's a tab under, I uh, no, no under the website for PSI, we're still, uh, we're, we're putting more data into that. Uh, we're completing our database also of uh, 
ano, our, our database regarding yung naging uh, <clears throat> output namin and, participa ano, and participation, uh, national participation in our projects. So I guess that would be all. Um, if you have any more ano, questions, um, if you would like to, to, to know more about our programs in PSI, please just write us, please just contact us. We are always on hand uh, to, to answer your questions. Um, I guess that that would be it. Um, it has been an honor to do this, and marami uh, salamat sa nagpush akin. Because I was really redu reluctant to do this. Because parang feeling ko it, it wasn't my turf. But uh, I hope I survived. I, I I hope I I hope I was able to to uh, to do justice no, to my role today. And uh, it's been a privilege to represent uh, my colleagues in PSC for this uh, endeavor. So thank you. And uh, next week, uh, please support si Sir Mark. He will be the one naman speaking next week. Uh, my boss. <laughs> yeah. So thank you again. Magandang hapon sa lahat. Wow, 500 for participants pala. Oh my God. Ang dami. <laughs> Nagulat ako. Thank you. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat po uh, sa ating po research speaker, our PSI Grassroots Program Head, Ms. Abby Rivera. Ma'am, thank you. Uh, I was refreshed. <laughs> by your lecture na refresh po ako uh, on the perspective no of of what of what we do uh, sa PSI and the PSC yeah. as a whole uh, allow me po to uh, give you mga salient points of um Miss Abby's lecture and uh, I hope uh, lahat naman po no everyone siguro may some of them took their notes and uh, may mga nag-screenshot na ng mga uh, points na ito I would just like to uh, give some highlights Dito po sa uh, sinabi sa at sinir sa atin na lecture ni Ms. Abby. Uh, Unang-una po doon, ano, yung pagkakatatag. Uh, siguro yung mga participants natin ngayon, kung ano yung mapapag-agrihan po natin in the coming phase of this summit would really mean something dahil yung PSI po ay nagsimula din for uh, dahil po uh, doon sa ating uh, uh, one of our resolutions sa Philippines Sports Summit, yung very first summit po natin sa Baguio in 1992. And syempre, uh, pagdating po nung uh, 2017, it was formally relaunched uh, sa time po ng ating Chairman Butch Ramirez and then patterned yung Australian Institute of Sports with the main focus on the regional and LGU coordination and other sports organizations and government agencies. Sports for Peace, mahalaga po sa PSEN and continuing professional development. And uh, binanggit po ni Ma'am Abby no, na meron po mga current status ang ginagawa ang, Pilip, ang Philippine Sports Institute uh, Shepe, it was a special program under the office of our chairman and led by our national training director, Sir Mark Velasco. And uh, later, yung isa pong deputy director, makakasama po ni Ms. Abby later to answer to your questions and reactions sa atin pong open forum. And uh, uh, Ms. Abby also mentioned and highlighted yung mga projects and activities of uh, the PSI. Uh, simula natin doon sa mga LGU consultative meetings. Hindi lang po ito, basta meetings that we do na hinaharap po natin yung mga officials natin from the local government. But I believe may mga kasama po tayo dito, Ma'am Abby, na mga uh, LGU sports coordinators na I think have seen uh, the faces of our of Sir Mark and our officials yeah. as well. Nakasama sila from the very first meetings no 2017 up to last year. Yan po. And uh, meron din po tayo syempre pinakita no, our, the maiden program of the PSC for Grassroots Children's Games, Sports for Peace. It was uh, UNESCO recognized. And nakita niyo po sa ating video. No? Uh, tama si Ma'am, touching siya in a sense. And uh, it, it gives also uh, yung perspective uh, sa mga katulad po, kami mga viewers pa po and mga participants tayo that are uh, hindi pa po nag indulge totally sa grassroots sports. Uh, yan po, no, yung Children's Games is really a big part of uh, really a big program of the PSC. Meron din po tayong sports mapping action research for talent identification. Yan po ay uh, 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 hinighlight din ni ma'am, no? And yung mga athletes natin po ngayon are national athletes. Some of them were, pra, are, were uh, identified using the Smart ID uh, program. And syempre, meron po tayong MSAS, Medical Scientific Athlete Services. Uh, binahagi po yan sa atin din uh, on a broader perspective ng mga previous speakers po natin, no? And uh, uh, the PSI has also collaborated and has done a Korean Institute, uh, sports science lectures with the Korean Institute of Sports. Yung case and syempre ito yung latest uh, programs po ng uh, PSI uh, from last year yung National Sports Coaching Certification natin. I believe yung mga participants din po tayo dito na coach that have been part of that program. Kaway-kaway po tayo dyan. And syempre well, we recently concluded 
yun naman po ang ating Sports Law for All online certificate course. Paganda pong i-highlight din lastly no po ang uh, plano po ng uh, Philippine Sports Institute on a long-term uh, short-term plans is uh, yung operas- uh, operationalization of the PSTC. Siyempre, uh, I'm very excited for this as well, ma'am, yung improvement po ng ating Philippine Sports Library. Uh, abangan niyo po yan. Abangan niyo po yan. And uh, siyempre, ang uh, regular reviews and monitoring ng ating mga local government sports uh, para po sa inyong mga plano and sustainable partnerships on a community level and school-based sports. And uh, we just want to reiterate yung uh, quote na shared ni ma'am. Lastly, ng ating po ultimate goal is to have a sustainable grassroots program to fuel our elite program. As we wait, tatawagin ko po, no? Ma'am Abby, sabi ko po sa inyo kanina, no? Hindi lang po si, si ma'am ang kasama natin ngayong hapon na ito to entertain yung mga questions and reactions from our participants. Uh, minention po ni Ma'am Abby on her lecture yung structural, ano po, no? Organizational structure ng Philippine Sports Institute. And she mentioned, na maliban kay Sir Mark, aside from Sir Mark, as our National Training Director. Meron po tayong Deputy Director for Philippine Sports Institute and I just want to call you know, call, call the presence uh, para samahan po tayo sa ating uh, open forum. Uh, let us all welcome Sir Marlon Malbog, our PSI Deputy Director. Sir, nasaan ka pa ba, Sir? Hi, Sir. <laughs> Ayun. Sir, nakamute po kayo. <laughs> Ayun, okay na. Wala talaga ako lusot kay Joash. <laughs> Uh, Hello, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, just the opportunity to say thank you for for your participation, uh, kahit na medyo, uh, and also for giving your time, no, uh, for this for this uh, simple yet and short session according to Abby. Uh, and also thank you, Miss Abby, for for elaborating more on PSI. Uh, sana po uh, very sana, sana po na, na, na mas mas naintindihan po ninyo yung position ng PSI through PSE. And once again, uh, thank you and uh, good afternoon and stay safe po everyone. Thank you. Alright. Hindi pa po aalik si Sir Marlon. Ano, bumati lang po siya. Yan pala oh, po ang kanyang oh, opening oh. messages. Oh, so uh, that being said, uh, I think we'll, we'll entertain na po uh, some questions po from our participants, Ma'am Abby and Sir Marlon. Unahin po natin Uh, from UP Mindanao, sabi ni Maydi Lim. Hello, Maydi. Tama ba? Maydi or Maydi? Maydi. Uh, sabi niya, regarding the children's games, are there modules for the conduct of the children's games and is PSI open to sharing these as, par- as partners so the event can be replicated as recurring activities in the programs of the SKs, barangays, and schools? Okay. Actually... We have prepared already the operation manual for that. It's actually with you, not the PCO. Uh, we're just waiting for the for it to be final, you know, finalized for printing. And then once it's printed, ako, I don't see a program. I, I don't see a program. I'm sorry. I don't see a problem sharing it. Because I think um, it would actually be good no, if um, we give the organizations or LGUs the, uh, the, the opportunity to actually conduct this on their own. And for PSC PSI to be on a monitoring basis, ano, on monitoring uh, capacity for this, to guide them. Yeah, why not? Uh, ako, I'm, I'm amenable for that. Wala akong problem Well, uh, uh, just to add lang din yung sinabi ni Abby, ano, uh, nung, nung mga unang engagements namin for, for, for children's games kasi, it's more on PSC PSI handling it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Um, before before the pandemic, uh, we started uh, giving it to the, the responsibility of of the children's games to the LGUs. Uh, it started in Mindanao, uh, headed by our coordinators there, uh, especially uh, Mr. Ed Fernandez and Cholo Elihino. Pale, ang ginagawa nila is uh, super uh, more on monitoring na lang sila and. Uh, content technical help on running the program basically ang ang kalala ang tulong lang ng 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 PSC is uh, um, uh, parang content financial just to to run to run the program and then let let the LGUs or or our partners to 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 run the children's games program all right 
clear po yan. Ano? Uh, another question from DL, DLCZ. DLSZ. Nabubulol na ako. From Francis Saur. From Sir Francis. Can other coaches and the health practitioners from the from the private sector avail the courses and seminars offered in PSI? Or are they only exclusive po sa mga national team coaches natin? I think may sagot po dito. No, they're not. They're not. They're not exclusive. Actually, you know, we've, we're opening it to the public. Actually, it's, it's open to the public. We're not even charging um, yeah. for admission to it. So um, I, I guess we just have to promote it more, no? But yeah, it's, it's open for everyone interested, everyone who wants to be part of this, of, um, of, our, of our advocacy in sports. Yes, pwede, pwede. Walang problema po. All right. So, tingin ko tama obvious po yung answer, pero I think for clarity lang din po for everyone. Open po yeah. yan for uh, for the public. Uh, mahalag ang um, one best example po yung ating uh, uh, national uh, coaching certification, no? Uh, that has been uh, done online. May mga participants po tayo diyan coming in from different sports, may mga league yeah. uh, may mga league officials, mga mga maliliit po na private entities na are, that are sports driven nakasali po dyan. Another question po uh, from uh, Richard Kevin Espidido. May I think ma'am also uh, regarding our program sir and uh, ma'am. May I ask again when will be the sport specific for the NC NSCCC level 1 and can we have the batch 2 for the sports law online course? Thank you po. <laughs> Sir, yung sa sport specific, sir. Uh, well, yung sa sport specific kasi, uh, we have um, several meetings now with our national coaches, ano, kung paano natin may implement ito online. Uh, we are still waiting for their um, um, uh, format of lecture uh, na gagawin online kasi medyo may, nahihirapan yung mga national coaches natin na kung paano nila ma, uh, ma well mas prefer naman din talaga nila yung face to face ano kaya lang uh, as much as uh, we want to do it but for now we can uh, kaya lang kaya nga online tayo lahat uh, that that this for specific pro, uh, lecture is very challenging for for both for both PSI and our national coaches ano but rest assured uh, kagaya ng sinabi ni Abi uh, we will implement it by September. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will have another series of meetings with our national coaches by next week. Kasi ang iba kasi nasa Olympics eh. Kaya hindi, hindi pa nila tayo masyado ma-accommodate. Uh, focus muna sila doon. But for the rest, meron namang iba ng, ibang coaches na nagbigay na ng, pro, ng, ng platform or ng, ng modules nila. Uh, pero kulang pa rin. Uh, we have to Para matuloy tuloy to siya, we have to also wait for the other NSAs to submit their their proposals. No? Um, paantay lang po. Uh, hopefully, by, by September po, ma, ma, mag-resume na tayo by sa sports specific natin. Alright. I hope that's clear. Ito po, um, uh, Sir Marlon, Miss Abby, yes. a question <clears throat> po from our colleague. An LGU wants to, wants to ask PSE to help them with training because their program has been lagging. Can we refer to PSI? Uh, okay, uh, specifically what kind of training. Pero, oh naman, uh, they can refer to us. From there on, we can, ano, uh, basta we have the details of the request, yung concern ng LG na yan, we, we can help out, yes. Okay na. All right. Okay. Ito po next, uh, from Sir Reynaldo Reyes from PBF. Ag- how are the functions of the PSI related to working with closely coordinated yun daming kama and in any, in any way overlap with the recently inaugurated launch of the National Academy of Sports? Yan, good question po. And okay. can we, as members of the National Training Pool Coaching Staff, be also part of the PSI? Thank you very much. Okay. Um, the National Academy of Sports po is under the uh, supervision of the DepEd. Um, it is a school. It is a school. It, it, will, it will serve as a high school. Um, the PSI does not offer such academic programs. 
we are more of ano yung sports education aspect ng PSI is more of uh, continuing continuing education and uh, personal professional development uh, anything academic no hindi kami ano diyan um, we defer that to them eh. kasi that's basic ed also and hindi rin naman hawak ng PSI ang basic ed ang basic education Um, although the PSC is involved in national in the uh, in the NAS, um, in terms of uh, consultation with regards to the sports aspect of the curriculum and the training, but that's as much as PSC is involved in it. Yeah. Uh, ito po, uh, siguro po anyone po can answer from uh, from MSU, Sir Art Lukman. Is it possible that we can have documents on how to conduct the smart ID? Like for those na hindi po nakapag-attend before ng pandemic, Smart ID, na gusto po mag-start ng isang team po. Thank you. Sir Marlon. You... Well, uh, pwede naman din siguro, pero mas maganda rin kasi no, na, na merong mag-tut- mag-guide sa inyo on, on how to... Um, yeah, yun, kung paano ninyo ma-implement yung, yung Smart ID. Uh, may rapto din kasi na ibibigay lang namin sa inyo yung yung forms or, or yung kung yung procedure pero dapat meron po mag-guide sa inyo na from from EMSAS but uh, hopefully po kung kung matapos tong pandemic na to or kung medyo maluwag-luwag na we can we can resume naman the program and and do about it uh konting ko alam lang po uh, konting pasensya lang po kung kung kailan talaga natin ma kung kailan talaga tayo makakapag uh, resume ng mga programs physically So yeah. ang ang responsibility naman is on us on 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 how to be diba uh, kung paano tayo magiging safe uh, mapaano tayo makakapag malalampas ang pandemic is magagaling naman sa atin eh hindi naman hindi naman din sa 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 iba buti tayo tayo lang din mm-hmm. good point by sir ayan no speaking of uh, patiently waiting for our sports programs uh sayo po ni Joshua Cosare miss hi miss Abby this is Joshua Cosare from LGU Muntinlupa i hope you remember me yes. we, are mi- we are missing batang pinoy ayan po no we are looking forward na magkaroon after our battle sa pandemic we would like to collaborate with PSI with regards to our em- with regards to empowering our grassroots program in Muntinlupa City we are glad to inform you that we that our aquatic center and track and field stadium is under construction i think dinaman to question more of a sharing reaction yeah nice 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 hello po sir it's been a while oo nga <laughs> hopefully ano we can meet po no please email us para we can ano we can also set a meeting with you kahit na through zoom po muna go yes sige po go ahead um ano ulit um We can share ulit yung part ng slide yung may contact details ng PSI after mm-hmm. this. Sige yeah. po. Para right. everyone can take note, yes. All right. Ito po another question again. Uh, do you think do you think po na marami pang sports ang ma-develop ng dahil sa gold medal ni Heidi Lynn outside basketball and other common sports na laging focus <clears throat> lang ng taong bayan? May ma-discover po ba katulad ng skating or other sports? Sir Marlon, baka may take po kayo on this. Uh, yes, totoo naman yan. No? Uh, wala naman din talaga imposible din through sports. But yung yung yung, yung kan mo kasi is uh, yung uh, tawag nito. Kung meron pang susunod, uh, pretty sure uh, 100% meron talaga yan. Uh, kaya nga yung kagaya ng yung, yung, yung message ni, ni Sir Mark na pinost ni Abby ano. Uh, we really have to develop yung yung grassroots natin uh, and it starts with the coaches not with the athletes ha? not with the young athletes kasi kahit na may may atleta ka na na bata na potential pero yung coach naman eh hindi rin naman din niya alam kung paano magturo ng maayos useless mm-hmm. lang din so mm-hmm. we have to to understand that uh, sa simula simula pa lang ng training or sa simula pa lang dapat yung coach is well equipped well knowledgeable on the sport na ituturo niya sa mga atleta, sa mga batang atleta. And for me as a basketball man, uh, uh, it, uh, hindi naman sa discourage ko yung team sports. Ano. But as 
you can see naman din sa sa performance ng mga atleta natin. It's more on individual sports. So, mm-hmm. please have time to explore other sports naman din. Uh, marami naman ding opportunity na na makakamit yung yung bata kung if if they try other sports na alam nila na kaya nilang mag-excel. Uh, so, yun, yun yun yung ginagawa namin sa PSI. Uh, it's it's more on training, training the coaches the proper the proper way and then for them to apply it to their young athletes. Mm-hmm. That's yes. good, that's good and clear no. Uh, speaking of uh, uh, training and volunteering na rin, sabi po ni tanong ni David uh, Isaac Q from DepEd Mandaluyong, do you have volunteer programs for PE teachers and sports enthusiasts who wish to be involved in one of your sports activities like children's games? I think may ang... Ah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Actually, I forgot to mention kanina, no? Um, there is a... Um, may mayroon siyang katuwang uh, na program, uh, na project. It, uh, we call it the National uh, Youth Sports Volunteers Project. Uh, ang nickname namin for that is Ate Kuya. <laughs> it's the Ate Kuya Workshop. Actually, if you saw yung sa video ng Coastal Games, um, you saw yung mga, mga, may mga nag-lead, uh, yun yun, those are the sports volunteers. And actually, that's one of the things also that we want to expand. No? That would be in coordination with children's games. Um, we plan uh, no, no, we plan to resume it also once the children's games are uh, no, will be back in action. Um, to train basically or to introduce those who want to help out in ano, in projects or activities. Ano, yeah, Uh-oh. We, 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 we plan to do that again. Yes. Okay. We started it already, pero konti lang. The last one was in Bataan. Kailan yun sa Marlon? Yung sa Bataan? Yung ate uh, 2017 pa yata yun eh. Or 2018. Ang tagal na. <laughs> tagal na yun. Oo, yun. Yes. Pero yung sa mga ibang children's games naman natin, yung sa mga ibang lugar, uh, na-implement naman din natin yun before before starting the children's games uh, proper. Uh, kasi day before of the children's games proper, dun dun natin i-implement yung workshop for for the sports volunteers. Tapos magiging part na sila ng children's games. Yes. All right. Uh, ito, uh from one of our uh syempre sea games champion uh also grabe uh, one of uh, the recently uh enshrined sa ating pong Philippines Sports Hall of Fame Elma Muros is uh, uh, gave her comment po sa totoo lang sabi niya po napakaganda ng PSC PSI program para sa lahat ng sports interest parties napakalaking pakinabang sa lahat. Kung sakaling magbagong administration, matuloy pa rin ba itong napakagandang program? Tanong po ito ata, sir. Matu- meron po bang, I think Miss Elma is looking for yung implementation sa uh, the dapat coming matuloy. years. Uh, dapat matuloy. Especially since PSI is and the, like I mentioned kanina uh, sa legal mandate, we are officially part of the PSDC. So there, there should be no reason for PSI to stop. No, cannot. Yeah. cannot stop. Cannot stop. Mm-hmm. And I think siguro yun yung assurance na hinihintay din ng ating mga uh, sports <laughs> coaches. <laughs> mga sports coordinators. Yan. You heard it ilang po. Taon so, na, ilang taon na to inayos ni na Sir Mark. Just go, please. Huwag mm-hmm. naman. Huwag mm-hmm. naman. Okay. Uh, ito po clarification. Magandang tanong po. I think uh, we are about in our last few questions na po. Sabi ni Ms. Zara Zagala from LJU Tayaba City, how does children's games differ from larot saya sa parke? They both cater grassroots activities for children. We are currently replicating the larot saya, but children's games is solely for children alone. Yan, baka po, ano, for clarity po ng mga okay. programa natin. Okay, ganito. Um, like what I mentioned earlier, children's games uh, will serve, you know, no, we, it is envisioned as a starting point for kids in the community level to to engage in play or organize sports with other peers, with their peers or other kids. Ang Larot Saya, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Larot Saya naman is more of a uh, community level um, initiative for families, you know, for families or friends or groups of people. Um, basta yung, it, it, it's, it's a form of, um, of, of a way 
um, for them to bond and uh, to, to to bond also and, and to do sports no? during during their free time, which is the weekends. It's to encourage actually um, more families and uh, more you know, and and more people, more people in general to 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 just engage in sport, not necessarily for competitive purposes, but more for recreation also, recreation fitness. That that's the ano of La Rotsea. Um, both are for uh, no, no, both are for increased participation in general. It's just that yun nga, like what was mentioned by Ma'am Sarah dun sa question niya, children's games is for 8 to 12 years old. La Rotsaya is more for barkada, families, there. Talagang, uh, that's the end. Yeah. All right. And uh, I think Last question po sa ating open forum. Uh, I would also like to request no yung uh, sinabi po ni Ms. Abe Kadira. Can we show the slides of their contact details of PSI po before we end? Kasi medyo in relation to sa katanungan po natin. Uh, ano na po ba yung mga uh, upcoming schedules and uh, programs po ng, ng PSI, specifically mga certification training programs? Sir Marlon, Ms. Abe, uh, mayroon po pupunta yung timeline on that as we show din po yung contact details po ng PSI. Like what was mentioned earlier by Sir Marlon, no? uh, the yung level one for the sport specific training, the sport specific training component of level one for NSCCC will be implemented later this year. Um, for the other online courses, um, we will announce it. We will announce it. Hopefully, we will be able to stage another set, mga September, October. Um, Again, um, I'm asking the participants, please also ano, no, uh, stand by sa mga announcement ng PSC Facebook page. <laughs> Very effective ang, ang promotion uh, through, through social media. Um, we, we, we usually course it from there because that is really, ano, eh, we really course it through PSI as the official communications channel of the agency. So please just meet. We are finalizing it. We're actually also uh, for 2022. No? Uh, we're also starting on our uh, on to finalize our calendar for 2022. Uh, per, uh, one of the uh, one of the goals that we have for 2022 is to actually complete the level three na na magkaroon na talaga ng ano, a level three graduates ng national sports coaching certification course. Magawa, ano, magawa namin yan before, by June 2022. Isa yun sa ikasasaya na namin. So, just stand by po. We, we promise we will, ano, we will inform everyone as soon as uh, we are ready with the schedules and uh, with, the, ano, with the mechanics. There you have it. Maraming maraming salamat po. I just want to thank our producer speaker. Uh, Ms. Abby, and also to Sir Marlon, our Deputy Director of a Very Cohesive Open Forum. No, Thank you po. I know marami po kayong katanungan and we are bound by time restrictions, but we know may mga uh, questions po kayo that are yet to be submitted. Kaya po, kung for those questions that will not be answered, and for those questions as well na medyo PSC-centered yung mga in general po ang inyong mga katanungan, i-send inyo lang po yan kahit ngayon dahil uh, next Wednesday sa ating yeah. final session, uh, mas masasagot po yan ano, as we talk about uh, the, the core of the Philippine Sports Commission. And uh, wala pong data that will be wasted on our program. Siyempre, and everything will be turned over to our research. And we will now take this time to honor and award the Certificate of Appreciation para po sa ating 24th speaker for wow. the first phase of the summit. And uh, Ms. Abby, Sir Marlon, allow me po uh, to give the Certificate of Appreciation. Uh, this Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Ms. Abigail Marie Rivera for her invaluable contribution as a resource speaker for understanding the PSI session of Sports Conversations, the first phase of the National Sports Summit 2021, August 4, 2021, via Zoom, signed William I. Ramirez, Chairman, Philippine Sports Commission. Ma'am, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before you know, before ending, no, I'd like to uh, extend my gratitude uh, no, and, and appreciation, of course, to the PSC Board, uh, to Chairman Ramirez, of course, uh, for assigning me to this. No? To this current uh, designation that I'm in, uh, to Comselia 
for for very very good intro, the kind introduction kanina for this topic to Sir Mark, uh, for tapping me for this to Sir Marlon, also for for being a, a very good colleague uh, and a boss at the same time. Um, to everyone, no? to, to to everyone who listened today. Uh, Totoo lang kabado ako kanina, pero, pero nakaraos naman tayo. And um, also, ano, no, uh, I'll be part actually of the, ano, no, as I'm, I'm, I'm part of the working committee actually also for this. So, uh, papasok ako sa phase two. Tama? Yeah, yes, papasok ma'am. ako sa phase two for that. So, it, it's kind of funny that I'm doing this also. No? I'm doing this lecture. Pero it's okay. It's, uh, it's, it was a good experience. And... Uh, I hope you all learned, or at least I hope you have a clearer understanding of how the PSI is. Again, um, we're, we're very much willing to, to answer more of your questions and to serve more of you, uh, to be able to reach my LGUs and to, you know, for us to continue with um, what we have started uh, with everyone's uh, cooperation and participation. That would be all. Thank you very much again. Thank you.